Good morning, y'all. It's me, Janae. I know it's been a while, but if you're new, you're welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a fashion school vlog. I am in New York City for the semester, which is the whole summer. And I'm just gonna take you guys along with me today. Today is my first day of class, so I'm gonna just take you guys with me so you can see exactly what we're gonna be doing. It's like a study tour vibe. So I guess we're just like travel around to a bunch of different places. I'm pretty sure, but yeah. Today is the first day and I'm excited. So, okay, I'm gonna give y'all a quick little recap. I have been in New York for a few days already and I've done some fun things. I'm wearing some cute outfits. Today I'm coming a little bit more chill, just a little bit because this, I'm wearing like kind of a dressier shirt, but I'm wearing it with some not dressy pants. So yeah, that's what I'm giving today. But I'm about to do my makeup. And I will show you guys a little bit of the process, but y'all know I'm not gonna do a freaking makeup tutorial because I don't do those anymore. Well, yeah, I don't do those anymore. But I'm just gonna start doing my makeup and take y'all with me. Honestly, I have to leave out the house at like nine and it's already 8.36. I'm gonna just try to like hurry up. Like, I really seriously need to hurry up and get my makeup done because I do not have all day. I know I like to do a nice full beat, so. Let me get started. First of all, let me tell you about these cute little Hello Kitty bags that I got. I got them from the little Hello Kitty store. I forgot what it's called. It's called like mini, mini something. And it had a bunch of Hello Kitty stuff, but it was so cute. I'm gonna use them to ship my press on nails, which I sell by the way. A little bit of promo. But yeah, I'm selling press on nails while I'm out here because I can't really be a nail tech in New York, not. I just like don't want to to be honest and i think it's like against the rules of where i'm staying anyway so yeah i'm gonna be selling press ones while i'm out here but hopefully y'all can hear me because my mic it broke like literally my microphone broke so sorry if it's a little quiet yeah i'll just hurry up and do this because i'm on a short time crunch and i'll come back i'm literally so hungry and i keep forgetting to wake up early enough to actually like make myself breakfast because New York is like very different from Ohio, obviously. So I need to be eating breakfast in the morning because I'm gonna be hungry from all that walking. I just can't like get up early enough and it's not working. Like I'm gonna have to get up at like 7.30 at this point, which that's the time I got up today, but I was just chilling. So I'm gonna have to actually get up and start being productive at that time. I got up at 7.30, we have to be at class at 9.45, but I know that I kind of like take a long time to get ready, so. That's why I wake up early. I think that today is gonna be fun. I forgot to put on jewelry yesterday. First of all, I'm having some really cute outfits. I'm gonna show y'all. But I keep forgetting to put on jewelry. Like, I just keep rushing so bad. I'm trying to speed up my time getting ready because I know it takes me so freaking long, which is not good at all. I'm just gonna start doing my eyebrows. I'm trying to like make this quick. People always say they have like a 20 minute makeup routine now. And I feel like I can do this in 20 minutes. I just have to like keep it moving. Cause I swear I be taking my time and I should not be doing that. Like I don't have all day for real. Especially not if I want to eat. Like I at least want to eat one thing, like maybe an apple or something. I don't even think I've told you guys cause I'm literally just hopping back on YouTube. We're gonna pretend that I wasn't on here. I mean, we're gonna pretend that I wasn't not on here for like so many months, but I have the Makeup by Mario foundation and this is literally the best foundation I've ever used. Like the hype is definitely worth it. And I don't know why, but like no other makeup company. I mean, I haven't tried the Fenty one yet, so I'm a little biased, but no other foundation that I've tried has matched my skin tone as good as this one. This one is really on point. Like, look at that. What? It's so nice. I never use a sponge, but I'm using a sponge today because I want it to look a little more natural. Hopefully I can achieve that. <laughs> makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. You guys know Makeup by Mario. Everybody does because he's Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. This is how it's looking on the skin. Just so y'all can get a clear visual of how good it actually is. Okay, I'm trying it with this sponge, but I'm just literally such a brush girl, so. Just to make sure everything is actually blended. Literally, no matter how hard I try, I always include a makeup segment. Like, I literally said in the beginning, this is not a makeup tutorial, and then I proceed to show y'all the entire process. What is that about? I seriously need to stop doing that. <laughs> I'm using the Sephora concealer. I got a bunch of new makeup. Like I have a whole new makeup routine now. So I wanted to show y'all. Cause I know I haven't seen it in a while. A lot of the makeup artists say you only need a little bit of concealer, but I don't think they get how full coverage people really be wanting it. Like on my Sephora concealer, I only use this one shade mostly now. Cause I finally got a shade that's light enough, <laughs> but still blends out well. 
Cause y'all know, some people like a bright under eye and I'm one of those people. I'm gonna use a smaller brush to blend this out. I don't know, always, 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 always blend from the outwards in, you know, so it can be seamless. New York so far is like really different from Ohio. I mean, I'm saying that like I'm not from Maryland, which I am. So it's really not that bad in my opinion. Like my girlfriend, she was like, ugh, this place is disgusting. And yeah, she's a little bit right because it is kind of like not the cleanest place, but it really doesn't bother me as much as it was bothering her, if that makes sense. I'm really liking New York so far more than I thought. It's definitely been a very difficult transition, but that's because I've been used to like quiet, nothing town Ohio for so long. But I'm a fashion girly at heart, so yeah. Y'all already knew where this was going. Just to make sure. Yep, 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 yep. I'm not even gonna show y'all the rest. I'll just come back when I'm done. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm rushing a little bit, but I'm ready for the day. Just wanted to show y'all how I'm looking. Can you see? Today is very chill. It's a very chill day for me. I'm gonna be using this tote bag. You know, it's for my brand. And I'm about to head out, so I will let you guys know when we're ready to go. Mitra, this is the roomie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're about to head to class right now. We gotta go get on the subway. You know how it goes. So yeah, it's just luck. It's our first day. Hey y'all. So we're gonna be late, but we're on our way. Kind of. Bro, this shit is really confusing. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, we made it. We made it to school. Hi guys, we are headed to Dover Market. Dover Street Market. Yes. <laughs> for our first class of study tour. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I don't have my mic either, but yeah, we're heading to Dover Street Market and we're walking and I'll show you guys everything when we get there. Rumi, Rumi check every few minutes. You have to Rumi check. <laughs>
hi guys i am back from class in all of the day earlier so let's just unpack the day because i feel like it's been quite a while since i've been on the screen so <clears throat> today was my first day of class hold on okay so today was my first day of class i had new york city study tour today as well as fashion in the media those are the two classes that i'll be taking over the summer here in new york city and today we went to dover street market that was like okay so my study tour class is like field trips pretty much you just go on a bunch of field trips and write about it so today we went to dover street market which was so beautiful and so amazing now i will say being a sustainability minor it was like ugh, a bunch of designer great but the stuff was really nice and i feel like the layout of the place it kind of resembled like a showroom to me it just felt like a big showroom so we went to dover street market today and that was pretty much all we did for my new york city study tour class um i believe that we have to do like a journal entry for everything that we go on which i'm about to do after i give you guys this rundown i'm gonna go ahead and do schoolwork. so yeah but we went to dover street market and it was really nice loved it in there clearly out of my price range at the moment I don't know like who could afford that but it's not me it's definitely for more wealthy individuals <laughs> it was still really nice to see all of the different like some of my favorite designers in there like there was margella in there there was come to garçon a bunch of prada a bunch of mimi a bunch of everything for everyone rick owens cannot forget about rick owens and it was great as far as my second class fashion and media it was also really great today we got to like unpack a magazine pretty much we were split into groups and we had to pick a magazine and say what we liked about the article what we didn't like or the whole website it was really nice pretty much a bunch of like marketing and branding type of things which i am really into so i had a really good time in that class but basically i really like both of the classes that i'm taking so far hopefully i will continue to like them the entire time i think that i will they're definitely fun classes they're not like i mean i'm a fashion student you feel me like they're not like bad or boring or anything of that nature they're very interesting and fun and now that i'm in new york i could see why people would come to new york for fashion school um as far as like the difference between new york and ohio because you definitely learn like textbook stuff and like the industry and things of that nature in ohio but in new york you definitely get a more realistic viewpoint of the industry itself the professionals in it the people and yeah it just gives you a way better viewpoint um after class me and a few of my friends went to a korean corn dog place we got some korean corn dogs i'm sad to say they disappointed a little bit i'm not gonna lie everyone makes them seem like they're just so freaking good and don't get me wrong they definitely were good at the start but after a few bites it just got a little difficult to eat but yeah then me and my roommate came home and we've just been chilling ever since to be honest took a nap it's about what time is it yeah it's 9 19 right now it's almost 9 30 so i'm just gonna probably do homework for the rest of the night and try to edit this video edit a few of my other videos that i've been recording over the past few days i did post to my nail page today i posted to my main page i'm trying to get back on my social media schedule as you can see i'm making a youtube video so yeah i'm definitely gonna be into my content a lot this summer and when i go back in the fall to ohio because it'll be my last semester and then i'll graduate wow well, time is really flying by it's crazy but yeah now i'm just gonna do some schoolwork and that's pretty much gonna be it for the night so i figure i might as well just end the video here i hope you guys enjoy like my little rundown of the class for the day in my next video i plan to do more so of like a work with me kind of vibe like this was a school vlog and I would definitely be doing more school vlogs considering I'm taking like a field trip class and we're going to some really cool places. But I definitely want to make some working like studio vlogs, but not really a studio because I don't have a studio. But I do have a lot of work that I wanna get done as far as my portfolio, different projects and things of that nature. So that's really what I wanna transform my YouTube channel into instead of just making vlogs all the time. Because I realized, to be honest, like nobody really cares about like what i'm doing that much i mean that's not to say that vlogs aren't great i love watching vlogs even like 
random new people that I discover every day and I love to make vlogs as well and I probably won't ever stop but that just won't be like the focus of my channel anymore if that makes sense but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video I hope you liked it if you did don't forget to subscribe and stay with me on my journey through New York City I'm 21 I'm living it up you could say and yeah but I gotta get a bunch of work done so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.